Okay, hello everyone. Uh, we're at it again with Kingdom Come Deliverance. I don't want to say we're at it again. I mean, in general streaming, but anyway. Uh, new game after uh, Crystal Project. This is what I'm going to be playing, alternating between uh, this and um, Bioshock 2, which I also completed Bioshock 1 this weekend. So. Uh, this past weekend. But yeah, uh, so I'll be alternating between these, and on Fridays we'll see what we're doing. But for now, this is a plan, so heck yeah. I'm excited to be doing this one. So let's go. New game. Normal to start out with. We might come back to it and do uh, hardcore, but for now, normal. Yes. Oh, here we go. Warhorse. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which had flourished under the late Emperor Charles V. But now, with his son, whoop, the king's inactivity angered many of the nobility, as well as his half-brother, King Sigismund of... Well, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Ooh, it's pretty. I got the Ultra HD update for this. Silver Scalots? Scalots, 1403. Hopefully this is alright. I did put in the HD textures and everything, so we'll see how well this goes. Hopefully I won't have to reduce anything, but we shall see. I haven't seen such splendor. Don't have knights walking around here much? Probably not though, right? little town. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue-blooded idol. Well, it looks like he was out all evening. Drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited as well. Hey, Ark. <laughs> oh, man. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Mom! Get up or I'll come get you up, Hear that? He looks like Shaggy from the, the live action Scooby Doo movies. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Have you been. Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, that's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your <laughs> I'm not totally wrong. I ju it's just what I see. I'm sorry. I, I just scratched myself is all. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now 
<laughs> Ooh, I felt that pop. <laughs> Is that the actor for it? A fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Um, by means of the first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you're not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitations. Um... What did we do last night? I like speech. I like to talk. I like the talk options, so we're gonna go with... We were chatting in the tavern. Mm, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stuff. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something yes. you're not telling me. Speech! And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Uh, more speech. Oh, man. Speech, agility, vitality, and strength. <sighs> the eyebrows. <laughs> let me think. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let's go with strength. Okay, let me adjust the sound a little bit. Just put those two there like that. I think I'm going to go with... You think he's oh, gosh darn it. Don't you? I didn't mean to do well, that. Oh, well, he is very yeah. talkative then. I'm not lying to you, Mark. All right, then, if you say so. I don't mean to pry, but oh, well. you know your father takes it's a fine. dim view of such things. We'll just go, uh, we'll go with the talker. He's a, he's a talker. Um, <laughs> let's go with the main thing. <laughs> is, is Pa angry at me? Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Um, do you need any help? You need me to do anything, Ma. Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. And my friends Did Matthew here. and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Uh... <laughs> I don't want to do that. That seems kind of... Uh, well, it's that's just a lie because we drink, so... You're just misjudging them. It's a, it's a misunderstanding. That's unfair. It's unfair! Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was... with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. 
You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. <laughs> Clever girl. Uh, I, um, to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Thanks, Ma. In the dialogue. Woo! Alright. Um, to eat any food, pick it up. Pick it up in the inventory. In the food tab, select what you want to eat and then eat it by holding E. Okay, let's sit down then. Uh, we will pick up... Oh, I, have to, I can't pick up the apple while I'm sitting. Let's see what our inventory has. Here's our character. Oh, what? Coif, helmet, head and chain mail, neck chain, offhand, main hand, bow, arrows, ring and spurs. Okay, alright. Can potentially get freaking upgraded. No weapons, armor's just some normal clothing, no food, no quests, and drunk keys and door keys. Good to know. Alright. Um, I guess let's get up so I can grab food. <laughs> I discovered skullets! Hey! Alright, give me an apple. No, I don't want to sit. Uh, give me an apple. Give me, give me an apple. I'll take two apples. Two apples and a bread roll. And a bread, oh, there we go. Oh, lentil soup. It's the lentil soup. And a bread roll. There we go. And I'll, I'll, I won't get any more of that. That'd be greedy. But what's the, oh, I can jump. Once, okay, I can't grab that. It's a sack of something. Alright, can't grab it. Uh, let's see. Oh, sees Crouch. If you want to sneak in somewhere, make sure no one sees you or hears you. Whether you're seen or not depends on the light in your clothing. Whether they hear you depends on the surface you're moving on, your attire, especially footwear. Okay, new codex entry. Oh gosh. Animal husbandry. In the Middle Ages, a significant part of any property ownership consists of livestock. Alright, not bad. Um, horses, goats, cattle, and poultry. Horses were highly prized, and until the 12th century were only available for the nobility, for military purposes, and for light hauling. The change came in the 12th and 13th centuries when horses came to be used for transport and tillage. I don't think I'm going to read all of this. Because it looks like it's just some interesting history tidbits. Unless there's anything specific that I need to read, and then I'm fairly certain you'll tell me. But, yeah. You get to learn some interesting history. Nothing in location. Events. Conquest of Cuttensburg. This might, I might read because this might be things that we need to know. In December 1402, during Wens Wenselus' imprisonment in Vienna, Sissamund attacked Kettensburg, and by the beginning of the following year, seized, seized and ransacked the town. Kettenberg was loyal to the king and staunchly defended by its miners. When they finally surrendered, they were forced marched to Sigmund's encampment near Colon and made to kneel before him in the mud in subjugation. In addition, they had to pay huge sums of money in, repar in reparation, even though the town and its environs... Environs? Environs? Uh, I know what it means, but I can't say it right, I guess. Had been pillaged by the Hungarian soldiers. The treasury in Kettenberg held not only coins, but also precious jewels, gold, and silver. Wenselus later estimated the wealth seized by Sigmund to be worth one million 
in gold ducats of the day. Again, I'll read the events because I feel like those might be pertinent information. Like the general, like, carts and stuff like that, we can kind of get probably by exploring. This we might not necessarily get and might need to be known. The events. Like, we, I don't need to know beekeeping, farming, noble officials, shepherds, or tanners. Maybe the characters, but for now we'll just go with the events. Uh, yeah, this ain't bad. When the young son of John of Luxembourg, Charles, inherited the title of Moravian Margrave, and, sub and subsequently the Schick throne, he embarked on not only economic, but also cultural development of his kingdom, a period dubbed the Golden Era. In 1348, Charles founded one of the oldest universities in Europe. Many cities, towns, and castles acquired new fortifications, new bridges, infrastructure, and churches were built. To strengthen his position in Europe, he made good use of political marriages, thus allying his family with prominent families in neighboring countries. He even had influence over the appointment of existential ecclesiastical ecclesiastical? Oh, never mind. He appointed influence over the appointment of dignitaries. Just dignitaries. What kind of dignitaries? They're dignified. Thanks to firm rule and politically based on the alliances, he was able to keep the peace in Europe. Charles was an educated monarch, unlike me apparently, interested in the arts, which was reflected in the architecture of cities, especially Prague? Prague. Where under his rule, many new houses, churches, including St. Vitus? Vitus? Cathedral and the city wall sprang up. Ecclesiastical. Don't worry, Henry doesn't know any of those words anyway. Yeah, it's, that's fair. That's fair, Hart. That's fair. Okay. Cool. We have some food. Let's eat. Uh, let's have the lentil soup. Oh, I do have to hold it. We're at 47 nourishment, so let's have the bread roll and the apples. Now we're at 58. That should be fine, right? I don't think we need to eat everything. Don't need to eat them out of house and home. All right. Let's go talk to our da. This is not to our da. Oh, maybe here. Oh, sorry, mother. Pardon me. Where's father? Oh, oh, up there, the smithy. Compass, compass will tell you where to go in a quest you are pursuing. Just head to the active objective waypoint. So, yeah, I discovered a grindstone. Come here, I need your help. Aye, aye, let's help. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling? You? I mean, unfortunately not. Oh, sometimes you need power of persuasion to achieve your goals. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which, however, is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you're talking to. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount. So the quality of your attire, how well groomed you are, together with your reputation, can make a big difference to how people respond to you. If you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you, and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and the deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment, but other things are also taken into account, such as bloodstains on your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you, you just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, see trade and haggling. In special cases, you can try and use other skills. An example, uh, horsemanship. It's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the specific offer, because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. You have to really read what you're going to say. But different approaches work on different people. 
You won't intimidate a tough brawler easily, and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value, but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under the corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart counterpart's abilities are visible to you if it's someone you know well or if you're skilled at reading people. Learn the perk em empath empathetic. Blech. Your money, the amount you can pay, total speech level, total charisma level, total strength skill level. It's not just about stats though. The outcome and influence is influenced by other factors example your reputation whether you're dirty or bleeding etc if you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant for example you may want to poison him a little first and then he will be easier to persuade or if you lead a guard away from his friends he'll be easier to scare uh yeah i mean i feel like uh you'd be able to really <laughs> persuade a person if you poison them okay cool uh, yeah. Oh, hold escape. Um, pff, I don't know my father that well, apparently. Um, let's go with the best one we got. Sorry. Sorry father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Success! Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? what I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Oh my. Sure to hear it. <laughs> Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right. Bianca. So make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. Okay, no. Um, cool. Quest log, you find all the information about quests in the log, and for clarity, they are also indicated on the map, as well as on the compass at the top of the screen. Quest log, J, map M. Okay. We finally got some fine spring weather, but, I s but still I slept late in the morning, because I was out celebrating until late in the evening. It was a bit hard getting out of the bed in the morning. Current objective. Go to the sword fighting lesson. Because that's something that I was told to do. Buy a bag of charcoal at the market. Collect the debt from Kunesh. Pick up the cross guard at the castle. Buy ale at the tavern. In the end, the bright sunlight woke me. With a little help from my parents, I went to help father in the forge. As I'd promised him the day before, but first, he wanted me to run some errands for him. Yeah, just go ahead and do that. All right. Um, let's go for this one. It's a little away from the rest. Looks like it's taking me to the castle. I guess that'll be the cross guard then. Hail. Um. Let's talk to these guys. Now. Hey, Jaroslav. With you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. 
Father had them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right Damn. away, your lordship. It's a soldier, man. Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. Don't say that. Don't tell him things he can't necessarily do. Yes. <laughs> Alright, got the cross guard. Going to town. Oh, hi, sir. Didn't really look around much. I'm not gonna treat this like other RPGs, like uh, Elder Scrolls, and just go into random people's houses. <laughs> uh, what was C? Is that Mark? That's the debt, which we do need to do next. So that dude. Oh, can I? S I cannot save. Oh, I have no save your schnapps. Cool, fine, that's fine. I don't need to save. Who wants to save all the time? You know I don't. Hey dude, I know you saw me as running away from me, probably. Hello, Kunesh. I'll be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? Father sent me for money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. Pay for the tools at least. I know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. The frick? Eh, my speech isn't that much, nor is the fighting, and I don't really think I want to fight him. Um, I guess I should at least attempt to speak and say the debts must be paid, right? Look, I know things aren't easy. Oh. Wife run off, booze is dear these oh, days. Oh, that no might not have been the best thing to say, years. Henry. It's no wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. If I had anything to give, I'd give oh, it. Oh, right. hey. I've got nothing. Well, leave me in peace, all of Reputation you. gained and reputation Don't lost. What? Why was it reputation lost? Why is it... Can I not talk? Okay. Okay, let's see what it says. Optional. Try to get the axe, hammer, and nails back in another way. Um, Kunesh doesn't want to pay up, and it seems he's got no coin anyway. Oh well, I'll just have to take back the things he didn't pay for, or find some other way to get the money he owes. I can't just let it go. Okay. I don't know what it's saying, find some other way. I can probably maybe go in and take it back? I don't know if he's going to appreciate me going in his house to do that. Looks like I can just open it, but I'm not going to do it just with him standing there. Let's do the sword training thing while I wait for him to move back behind the house, maybe. Okay, so this is a charcoal burner. I I don't have money, so I'm not gonna talk to you. <laughs> uh which one B was sword fighting? Okay. Hey Pip. Oh. Do you wanna learn something? No. I don't think so. Thanks. Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. it was definitely no mother's happy when her son mother. starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? 
I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. Let's go. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Other ways of getting the money. Looking at Kai. Oh, I want a uh, tab. J. Um, is there a way to find what my reputation is in a town? I am actually kind of curious. Oh, reputation. A hundred. That good? I guess that's good. A hundred sounds good. Okay, I'm a hundred. I'm gonna assume a hundred is decent. I have good reputation in this town. Yep. I just get a little drunk every now and then. Who doesn't? Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think I could do that. <laughs> Are you just gonna open the door? Are you gonna vault it as well? Oh. Hey uh, huh? Face first into the wall, huh? So, can we get started? I mean, yeah, we can. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Which is nothing because I'm. <laughs> Punch. Uh, left shift to unlock. Okay. All right, all right. Now try to hit me. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. All right. Very good. Not bad. Good. Not bad. Good. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. Okay. Stab. Weak attack. Weak attacks tend to be ah! more precise to the four cost of four stabs can be aimed at the face or at the body. Now you're getting it. Not bad. Okay. Now you're getting it. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. <sighs> Fine. Mm. All right. Ooh, let's get our yellow bar back up. Uh. All right. Oh, okay. That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of thirsty. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master swordsman overnight. You have to work and work. And the main thing is to use what you've learned in real combat. There's nothing better than experience, believe me. I believe you. <laughs> you know what I was thinking through that? I would like, I would really like a Star Wars game that had like lightsaber combat like that. That would be kind of fun. Alright, let's see if what's his name is not in front of his house. He's not. Okay. Um. Yeah.
Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Uh, I don't want the pot. I don't want that. Mm, a locked chest. I'll need a lockpick to get into that. Fritz might have one. Okay, let's go see Fritz then. He didn't see me. Okay, where's Fritz? Uh, doesn't say. Cool, okay. We'll just look around and see if we can find someone named Fritz. Which I think was one of his friends, right? So maybe in the pub. Hi, gambler. How are we? Do I even have any money? I don't think I have any money to play dice. Fancy throwing a few dice. Do I have any? Yeah, I don't have enough money or I don't have any. Okay, I had something, I guess. You're a brave soul taking me on. I'm not okay. used to losing. Help! <laughs> yeah, I remember. Um, if you want to try your hand at gambling, it's possible to play the dice game of Farkle, an ever-respectable tavern. The goal of this two-player game is to be the first to reach a certain number of points. Six dice are thrown, and the players alternate turns. Points are gained for every one or five throws, and for three or more of a kind of any number... Uh, points are gained from every one or five thrown, and for three or more of a kind of any other number. Scoring is as follows... One is worth a hundred, five is worth fifty, three of a kind is worth a hundred points multiplied by the given number. Example, four, er, three fours is worth four hundred, three ones is worth a thousand, four or more of a kind is worth double the points of a three of a kind, so four fours is worth eight hundred, and five fours is worth sixteen hundred points, etc. So, the next one is worth 15, while that is worth 50. And the last one is worth 750. Okay. A player's turn always begins by throwing all six dice. The player then uses E to select and set aside scoring dice. And at least one die must always be set aside. Then the player can throw the remaining dice again using F. And the situation repeats. Scoring combinations are counted for a preset throw, not the entire turn. The key element of the game is that if a dice does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn is over and all points gained up to that point during the turn are lost. Ooh. If a throw does not produce a single scoring die, then the player's turn... Oh, man. It is then that the opposing player's turn to throw. Therefore, it is advisable to end your turn using Q before there is a significant increase in the chance that not a single die will score. It is also often worth not removing all scoring dies so that you will have a better chance of scoring higher on the next throw. And since every player throws his own die, there is also an opportunity to cheat, but it is more difficult to find loaded dice. Devil's Head is a set of dice with a joker instead of the one, which acts as a wild number in combination with any other number. Example, the joker in the one is worth a thousand, joker on its own, though, on its own though, the joker has no value. So if all the dice thrown are jokers, the player busts. Always worth to have one joker then at least. Okay, I think I understand. Fabric, red, but um, so does this tell me I need to choose one? Um, oh, I have two twos, so I hold two? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, and there's this one and this one. Or am I supposed to grab everything? I guess not. No. Um. Um. Need some advice. Let's go with that. So then quit. Oh, I get no. I didn't understand the initial point of the part. No. Come on, let's let's play some dice. Give me give me my money back. Come on, it's not fair. Make an offer. Come on. Okay. Your fame precedes you. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna hold the sixes. How come it's clear? One try in a game, playing the goals is worth two points you get, points you gain so far, so total. Always begin with throwing all six. Yes, I did that. Then the players E to select and set aside scoring dice. I did that. And at least one die must always be set aside. Cool. Then I have to use F. Okay, so it's only one in five that gives normal points, but you need at least three or more to get anything more. Okay, I, f I think. Okay. Need some advice. So that, okay. Okay, fine. Score and roll again. Hey. We got three of a kind. Cool. Uh, score and pass. And he gets to go again. That's it. Oh my gosh. Your turn. Okay, now let me go. That's nice of you. Okay. Okay, we have a five. Roll again. Um, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Boom. I'm not trusting that. Score and pass. Lose it all. I might as well go and. Hey, okay, bust. Um, we have one at least, so we'll go with that. We'll score and roll again. Score and roll again. Not afraid of anything, eh? I'm afraid, but I need to try. Okay. Um. You 
if I was in your shoes, I don't know what I'm doing. Through. I'm being dumb. Okay, I'm I'm do this one. Score and pass Q. I that was a horrible. I forgot I can hold him. I'm so dumb. Hmm. That's it. He's also kind of nickel and diming it. Looks like he didn't get anything I don't though. Believe it. So he busts. Okay. Oh! Yes. Yes, I'll go with that. That's a thousand. Score and pass. Score and pass. Okay, he got three. This will be the one. Four, five, and one. Are you gonna keep going? You gonna keep going? Are you gonna pass? Oh! Is that four? Oh no! Good. Okay. All right. Let's. Oh, uh, we can do that, right? Or no? I guess not. Still not entirely sure how we put them aside, but maybe I can't. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, this one, this one, and this one for 200. We're going to or pass. Thanks. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Gonna keep going? I shouldn't I? No, I don't. Oh, he passed to me. Okay. <sighs> okay, we got three threes. Which will go with the three threes or hope for something better. Let's go with the three threes. You know what? I'm ahead by a double, so let's score and roll again. And another one. So let's roll and pass. Just a little bit more. But we're almost there, so... That'll do me. Ooh. Okay, so it doesn't work like that. Okay, um, score and roll again. Linen fabric, dyed and plain, something for everyone. No. Um, score and roll. I'm afraid of anything, eh? I once again am afraid. So score and pass. No one ever died from throwing dice, you know. Losing money. Hmm. I'm fine with that. Henry, I'm glad you stopped by. Lose no it. it. Okay. That's fine. That's cool. And I think I got it with this, actually. Yeah, I got it. Score and pass. Good game. You deserve it. I got a gold. Cool. How much gold do I have? I lost one and gained one, so. You can't delay, no time to lose. Um, what brought up the journal? Oh, I have a hundred? Oh, no, that's the reputation. Inventory? Other? 
Okay, so I have two the Russians. Let's just go to the pub. <laughs> Let's just go to the pub. Um, which one was the pub? Charcoal Tavern is E. Okay. You'll find it all here. Here we go. You can't be serious, Dutch. Insulting our king. What insult? I say only the truth. Sigismund has done only what he had to. I had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts, traitors. Now even the Pope. God be with is you, Henry. I'm with you, Matthew. What's going on here? Deutsch is spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone has to bring order and reunite the empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in Avignon? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true, though. Wenceslas is the king of Bohemia. Bohemian nobles are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. Sir Ratzik is Wenceslas' <laughs> commander-in-chief. He stayed loyal to the king. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund and... don't and forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but... Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words, exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I, Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up on the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'm uh, not a yeah. to be honest. Uh, but, doing some tears will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for a father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Sir Ratzik's sword. Come on. Doing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? I'll do it, but I need your help in return. All right, I'll do it. But then you have to give me a hand with something. What do you need? Kuna shows money to father and doesn't want to pay. I tried talking to him, but he wouldn't listen. I need more than words to get coin out of him, and I can't handle it on my own. No uh, problem. We'll back up. Just as soon as we're done faster in Deutsch's house. I'll be happy to sort out that drunken oaf. All right. I didn't Let's quite mean it that way. I just wanted the frickin' lockpick. I hope I can at least just tell him I want the lockpick and not, like, gang up on the old drunken man. That wife left him. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. Hey, Fritz, give me a lockpick. There's pick. this lock chest I need to get into. Hey! Really? An honest trade not good enough for you anymore? It's just that someone has something that doesn't belong to him, and I want to take it back. <laughs> if you say so. It's not skin off my nose anyway. I've got some lockpicks you can have. But if you get caught, you didn't get them from me. Fine. Hey, never heard of you. 
Thanks, Fritz. Okay. Now maybe I can do this without beating up an old man. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Oh. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. How are uh, you, Henry? Can I talk to Matthias? Can't, okay. Um, which one's his wife? Is it B? His... No, that's the ale. Which one's his wife? I'm gonna assume it's her. Yeah. What do you want, lad? Nah. I just went by the tavern, and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right, and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty! The fool! Next thing he'll start on about the Popes! He might have mentioned the Popes, too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Oh, I feel bad. Gosh darn it. <sighs> Throw your frickin' poo. Go and get revenge on, oh my gosh. Yeah, Ma was right. They're bad influences. Oh, and, he's, and I'm gonna be the one that throws the first turn. Oh, maybe not. The king and country. The king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. This is all. This is Nearly none of any of that. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. That's for Sigismund. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Run. It doesn't take that long to. Yep. What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans, can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Dirt. Horse Hans, I'll make those smites off your faces. Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Zbizek? Hanging out with this proxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Oh. <laughs> uh. Fucker! I'll make you pay for that. And here we go. Unarmed combat. Hook strong, slower hand strike to the head, jab direct hand, blow to the face. F is kick. Tab, lock on opponent, switch to next opponent. Left shift unlock. Q is block. Raises and holds hands defense. So the indicator shows roughly how much health your opponent has left. The more wounded he is, the slower he'll attack and react. When the end is near, he may either try to flee or surrender. Your wounds icon that notify where you're wounded and if you're bleeding. Stamina. If an opponent's strike hits your armor or you block it, it will cost you stamina. When your stamina is completely depleted, you won't be able to defend yourself and will be wounded. Attacking will also deplete stamina, especially when wielding a heavy weapon. Health. If you cover yourself badly and your armor is weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding, and bleeding will lead to death. The more health is depleted, the lower your maximum stamina. Okay! <sighs> Oh, my accidentally hit my friend. Uh. 
a whole lot of health. God save you, Henry. <laughs> God save you, Henry. <laughs> Silly lad getting into little fisticuffs like that. Oh no, there's a cow in the road. What will we do? They'll. Oh no. Oh. Can I get. Man, why haven't I learned the special skill of running through cows? That's bull! Man, they don't even teach me these skills. Greetings. Greetings. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to Kunesh's first. I'm not gonna fight them. Buy him before someone else goes. I feel quite hungry. Oh, that's nice. Um, uh, my map. Uh, B. Oh no, we're not doing that. Come on, need to get to Kunesh. Kunesh place. Need to go into Kunesh house. Four jerky friends. Oh no, he's right there. I don't. No. Maybe they'll keep him busy. Um. Oh yeah, it was, the chest was in here. Or the lockbox, whatever. Fuck picking. Help! In order to pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick in your inventory, although it's better to have one or two spares, since they get worn with use and in the worst case can break. You start the actual lock picking process by holding E on the lock. You'll then see a diagram of the lock mechanism, in which you have to find the right spot to insert the lock pick. Then you have to use the lock pick, D, to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movements of the lock pick with the rotation of the mechanism, because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. How close you are to the sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor, and it turns gold when you find it. If you try to turn the mechanism without having the lock pick in the correct position, the mechanism will stick, which will damage the lock pick or even break it. Any damage to the lockpick will produce a noise, which can draw unwanted attention, and breaking it will cause an even louder snap. Okay, so E, D, and then but also look for the sweet spot. Okay, so E. Find the sweet spot. Oh, it's getting bigger. It's not. Oh. Son of a gun. Don't come in. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I don't like that. Rob, ah. Oh. Give me my dad's stuff back. Theft, if you must steal, make sure no one sees you. And you need to be careful when selling stolen goods, too. Try going to a trader as far away as possible from the scene of the theft. 
Find someone who deals in stolen goods as a matter of course. A fencer. Alright, at least I don't have to freaking beat up the old man. He can't even see me walking out of his house. Okay. I have the thing. I got it, so I'm not doing that. I'm not doing the B. It's optional, and I'm not beating up the man. Alright, um... Charles God Coleman, you. God be with you. Um, da, 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 da. I need a ten. How do I sell? Ah, sell. Okay, and I did need, uh, I want to make sure it was 10, so let's just exit for now. Um, yes, it was 10, okay. Good. Haggle. Let's have a word about the price. Aye. Aye. Haggling works both ways, whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay or get. W and S and confirm with E. Trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is a refusal, he shall make a counter offer and wait for your response. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Dragging out the haggling with one offer after another will gradually try the trader's patience. Eventually, they'll drop the haggling completely. You can see how close you're getting to that point from the trader icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. Every unsuccessful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Okay. Um, I need five, so let's go with... Or no, that's what I had, so I never did actually sell, so never mind. Let's just cancel. Oh, and it counts as reputation lost! Son of a gun! Okay. Let's do that. Check the baskets. Haggle. Did I just sell it and not haggle? Okay. Okay. Let's play dice. I feel a lucky throw coming my way. How about you? Um, we are not doing the full protect. We're going to do. One point seven. Make the offer. All right, let's do this. Let's do dice. Oh, oh, ooh. Everything for the house, garden and field. Curses! Why did I even start this game? 
God be with you, Henry. I'm gonna be jinxed, I know it. This'll be the one. No point in pushing it. Alright, don't push it. This will be an easy win. No, 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 come on. Be a bust as well. Be a bust. Bust! Oh no. Do this. Score and roll again. Freaking close. <sighs> Come on up yes. this will be the one. What the hell's with these damn dice? Core and roll again. Need a good one. A good one. Rooms for your house. Three. Linen fabric. Dive on a Something for everyone. Uh, score and pass. Uh, uh, okay, it's just five. Hmm. Bust. Calling shenanigans. That's it. Shenanigans. Hey. <sighs> ah. Greedy. Okay, I'm greedy too. Um. Well, again. Roll again. Not afraid of anything, eh? Gorm pass. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't know why I'm. <sighs> he needs 2,500 in order to do this, so. We'll see. Unless he gets the best rolls ever, and I get just crud. Hmm. He has to keep going. Oh no! Um. Is this thing? No. All right. All again. I have a one in there and a five. That thing? No. I actually. Linen fabric died in Got it. Holy mother of God, why do you punish me? I needed the money! <laughs> you! Let's talk trade. Um, I need ten. 
basket. Um, does it say how much money? Is that the money? So it's five. I have five point nine. <laughs> All right, good. Now I got that one. Now I just need to get the alcohol. Yeah, tavern. Look, I'm. We threw poo at a man's house. We don't need to beat up another man. I feel like they'll forgive me. Coming. Hello, Bianca. Save my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Hail. Just ale. What else could I expect from a village lout? <laughs> what will it be then, ragamuffin? Uh, a pitcher for father. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. Thanks. On the house. It's on me today. Okay. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. Okay, I did You'll pay. have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He's a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, Savior Schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> Yay, I, I can save. Properly. You bet I will. Five, I have five saves. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna hold on to those. The game saves automatically at important moments during quests and when you sleep in your own bed. To save it immediately, drink Saver Synops. I like how there's a little a little disc on it. Old save discs. I like that. Okay. Fabric, red, buttons, laces. Come, people, come! Good, good, good. Uh, oh, that was a traitor. I don't have money, so I'm gonna go back and give our dad the stuff. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Faster than the wind. Faja! Uh -oh. Here's the stuff. Yeah, about time. Have you got everything I wanted? Sorry, I was sidetracked a bit. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. We're a blacksmith. Right. Or at least an assistant. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. <laughs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call Ooh. craftsmanship. That's Brady. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. Mwah. <laughs> uh. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure 
you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. And we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let yeah, traitors like speak out of our king? <laughs> the boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. Hey, I'm glad I went with the speech now. <laughs> Furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up and when I take it out. Yeah. Sure so it fits exactly. That's you a good supporting, doing. loving family. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the garb. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles. Had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. And that is a really pretty sword. It's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. I didn't talk to her. She asked me if I was alright, but eh. Oh well. Okie doke. Wah. Hello, mother. No time to talk. I need the nails in the living room. Chest in here, did he say? Or was it in the room I went in before? Up. Oh, there we go. 
things. I... Hey, Q. Within one minute, we'll add 30 health and dispel hangover effects. Cancel the effects of Lazarus Potion. Ah, neat. Oh, and some save your snaps. Three of them in here? I'll take that. I'll get the nails. Uh, my character did say he was hungry, so I'm going to grab uh, an apple and some bread. Go ahead and use that real quick. This gets back to 50 nourishment. I think that's fine. Shh. Look, man. Every save counts. Here's your nails. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Aww. <laughs> uh huh. Fine lass, eh? Now stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. You did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Sven? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. We just Good. said we would. <laughs> it's been an honor, Sir Isman. Have a safe journey to Sasa. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. 
Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Who well, say so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them? Meet. You have to keep going on about it. Then you've no need to learn swordplay. Yeah! Yeah! A messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Ah, uh, shit. Your sword isn't, a, isn't a nearly as cool. Psh. Oh no. Um, run. Um, run. Listen to me, Al. Listen carefully. Take the sword. Go into the house. Grab anything else important for the truck. Go to the castle. Hurry. What about you? I'll go with you. No. You do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sarazi. If anything happens, I'll take care of him. He owes me. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ah, <laughs> on A single sack? Oh, this is upsetting. <laughs> He's gonna die. decided to make me a messenger now instead of actually let me in like they said they would he has my sword Okay. 
But you know what? Honestly, I'm fine with failing that objective, you know? Gotta go, gotta run, gotta run, gotta go fast, gotta go. Probably guys behind me, follow the trail around this way. Uh-oh, eh. Oh, I can go down here. Eh, eh. Oh, there's horses. Let's get to the horses. Eck. Up it up. Uh, up it up. Okay, nope, not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Um. Um. I did. See. I'm stuck and you can't see me. I can't. I can't. I could vault that, but I can't vault this. Come on, seriously? <laughs> nope, 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 you can't see me. I'm hidden. I'm hidden in the gr in the leaves. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm out now. Yeah. Run. Uh, 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 nope. Gonna run. Faster. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Leave me alone! <laughs> Gotta go. Uh, oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, I'm bleeding. Ah. Uh, I'm dead. <laughs> Look, that wasn't my fault. That wasn't my fault. I got stuck. Yes, load. Mm. No, no. Don't take a drink of water. Run. I guess follow the A. Do not wander. Don't try to vault over a fence. <laughs> stamina, 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 stamina. Run! I hear him. Uh, whistling. Oh, she got away. Okay. No, no, no. no. Uh, let me know. Well, well, okay. That's fine, too. Okay, it's fine. No worries. Um, I once again run. Okay. Um, this time it looks like I just need to distract them. Let's get to the horse and then whistle. I'll see if I can steal one of their horses. Then I'll distract them. Because I thought I saw as I was dying that my quest was to save her, which I think I did when I distracted them. It looked like she got in the house at least. So hopefully that will do. Oh, I hope riding a horse isn't that hard. You can then mount your horse using it. Okay. Um. Can I? Yeah, well. X? Horse ride. You could call your horse in by whistling and then mount it. Movements. WASD. Try out the horse pace. Capsule walk. Gives your horse a chance to recover. Uh, w plus L shift. Canters idly. Combines a faster pace with your horse's endurance. W plus L shift. L shift. So double tap the L shift. 
gallop in a faster gait, but it'll soon deplete your horse's stamina. Following a path, L shift your horse is smarter than some people and stick to the path they're on if they're given him if you give him his head. Just I like how they're just standing there and like staring at me and the horse. <laughs> <laughs> just the way they're just standing there. Oh, he's looking at his horse information. All right, let's let him. Let's just wait a minute. Oh gosh. Okay. Um, escape. I'm getting on the horse. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, jump. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh gosh. Just jump over. Just run. F the horse. Who needs a horse? You know who needs a horse? Some other guy. Yeah, I'm in the water. They ain't gonna get me in here. Oh, there's another horse. I'll steal this horse. Ah, no! <laughs> Emma! Ah. Eck! Oh, I'm in the reeds! Eck! I'm bleeding again! I'm dying! I'm dead! Okay. Uh -huh. I've bled to death, guys! Let's continue! Um, okay, I can get food poisoning. That's nice to know. Okay, I'm at this part of it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's great. I now know what I need to do, where I need to go. This is fine. I'm learning. Maybe. Maybe I'm learning. Go, 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 go. I can't survive, so just go. Yeah. So tired. Bye. Oh, I need to hold on to the shift. How do I turn? Horse, get up there. Get up there, horse. Yeah. I have to hold on to the shift. How do I turn? <laughs> Oop, game saved. Cool. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's how his adventuring ends with an arrow in his knee. I've heard how bad that is in Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, horse, you're gonna do the running. I've been told you can do it if I let you. Yeah. Oh, wow. along the street. Okay. Okay, can I skip? I can 
can skip. Okay. Um, okay, so I can use the arrow keys. That's good to know. Across the stream, let's just frickin' cut through most, if not all, of it. Dang it. Through the water! Go! They'll kill you all! And now up, up! I haven't heard them. I haven't seen any arrows, so I might be good. Canter. Never mind, I think I heard him. Go! Yep, go! Zigzag. Zigzag pattern. In a zigzagish pattern. Yeah. Go. Here, get this guy. Run for it. Run for it. I'll get you. Don't just walk, run! Flee to Townburg. To Townburg. I heard, I heard them, uh, shooting. At least the horse is lasting. Oh, no. Uh. Yeah. Nope, you gotta go, horse. Doesn't matter if you're tired. Go. I see it up ahead. Yeah. Hit the stream again. Hey. Hey, good dodge. <laughs> Do something! Quickly, everyone! Get your asses here! Hey! And loose! Oh, you guys suck. Oh, you guys ain't socks! Not the best way to come down with an arrow in your knee, man. Someone give him a drink. And bring hot wine and bandages. Tell me, boy. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Tartars, you say? Yeah. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Get your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. And fainted. <laughs> Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. 
Hey, I can keep adventuring. Only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. <laughs> oh, like that guy. Like, what the frick? <laughs> you idlers have to do. Like, what? Get back to work. <laughs> You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? <laughs> Sir, this is a survivor from... I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insigns of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Scalus is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. Do you think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? I'm sorry. It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, Can't send Freyd? <laughs> thank you for risking your neck to warn us. I didn't have Robard, any choice, literally. Him. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Objective completed. Tomberg, not Townberg. <laughs> oh, hey, discovered a fast travel point. At least it's fast travel. You discovered your bed. You discovered a baker. Isn't that nice? Oh, lockpick hard? Never mind. Well, remind me the week before he arrives, so I'll have time to prepare properly for his visit. Of course, sir. Uh, what are you up to? Get out of here, or I'll call the guard on you. I'm going. I'm not necessarily. I guess this way. You, I'm supposed to talk to you. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. Oh. I heard about your father. Something. They say he was a swordsman who was portraits. I'm sure he had his reasons. He had a fine reputation. It's a great loss. Um, do I just go in? Okay. Ah, oh, Milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. Milady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Big old ball. 
And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the baby. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Mm. So, young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Sorry, they're filthy. <laughs> Hunger, the longer you go hungry, the weaker you get, and in the end, you can even die. Hunger, different foods have different properties. For example, an apple won't fill you up like a roast duck, but it will stay fresh for longer. Some foods can be more effective for healing. Lentil mash? Make some bread rolls. Awesome oh, roast duck, delicious. And of course, some cheese. Gotta wash it down with cheese. Mental mash is a staple of countryside cuisine. Nourishment nine, health zero, energy zero, alcohol zero, durability two days, freshness 100%, weight three, price 1.8 cheese. <laughs> The lentil mash, at least. Oh, yeah, my nourishment is at 16 after eating the... Ooh. Uh, you know what? Let's literally eat our fill now. Get the roast duck. While we can... Oh, my speech and stamina is down. Oh, is it because I have an arrow in my knee and I look like crud? <laughs> I guess that would make sense. Alright, good nourishment. Okay. Um, is there a way of finding out why exactly... Yeah, my stats. Minus one due to Y. Tiredness, overeating. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense. You're exhausted, you cannot concentrate, and your speech is not so persuasive as usual. Also, your charisma is taking a hit. Eventually, you will start fainting. Speech and and charisma reduces in proportion to your tiredness. Okay. Um, I have perk points. So I'm level three.
Okay, so some of these I don't necessarily need to put a perk into. They can generally get stronger just by using them. At least that's what it says with strength. Using archery will also increase it. Okay, that's nice. <clears throat> okay, cool, cool, cool. Alchemy. <laughs> Drinking skill makes you more resistant to various effects of alcohol. You'll be able to drink up to twice as much, and the after effects the next day will be lowered. Herbalism. so much. Oh, my reputation went down. Those derived from your stats and your progress through the game. It's useful for comparing your character to that of your friends. With every second level you reach, you can select one perk that will allow you to make your character more specialized. Okay. Is the plus telling me that I can add, like, this perk point to it? Or not? I am a little confused by that. Let's try. Um, that one needs a little bit to go up by itself, so maybe not. Strength, agility, vitality, and speech. Okay, so I click the plus in order to add a point. Um... I'm close with Beach, I'm not that close with Vitality. I'm not that close with Agility and Strength I'm close to. What should I put into Vitality or Agility? What you're close to doesn't matter. They go up regardless of whether you put any point in. Uh, whether you put another point in. Okay. And I think for now, I'm going to put into... I already have three speech. Let's get our strength up. Oh, hello. Oh, it's to choose things to put into. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. And I need a certain level in order to get some of these. Okay. I think I understand. 
charisma just doesn't have anything additional to add into it. Okay. And the only thing I can really do looks like first aid. Oh no, I already know first aid. Some I can learn, some I can't. I don't know why that's there. Well, I guess I do. Okay, I can only really do main level kind of skills, so... Okay, anything with this I can put into, okay. So, yeah, the main level is the only thing I can really put into then. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so I can use bandages. You lose 30% longer without food, but as soon as you get hungry, the effects will be 20% worse. When dirty, you'll have 50% more charisma when talking to women. However, people will smell you a mile off, reducing your stealth by 30. Your stamina will regenerate 20% faster at night, but 10% slower during the day. This is some um, fallout uh, skills. Increases the sight distance of fast travel, so you notice events on the way sooner, and your chance of evading are also increased by 10%. You grew up in impoverished conditions, so comfort of beds is inverted to you. The worse the bed, the better you sleep, and vice versa. I think the only one I kind of really want is Scout. Everything else kind of sucks. Well, I guess they're useful in their own way. Might hold on to my points. I'll hold on to my points for now. Good. Oh. <sighs> oh, he's tired. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the bed. Let's all go to the bed. Let's all go to the bed. Let's all go to the bed. Where is my bed? Oh, don't pass out. Go to your bed first. Hi. <clears throat> bed? Bed! Um, they did mention... Taking off the boots. So, yeah. We'll definitely make sure to do that at least. You're tired, your stamina and eloquence will also gradually decrease. Tiredness. Sleep is the solution. Find an available bed which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Your bed. Sit on it. E. Start E. And see how long something. Uh, this is a game of specialization. Everything has pros and cons, no flat objective. Things that are better, ex better except practice or learning. Okay. Um, yeah, I took off my boots, so that was the main thing. See it. <laughs> my feet look horrible. Uh, inventory? I don't know. Uh, should I... Guess you don't need a scarf either. Oh, that's fine then. Okay, you have undershirts. Take off your clothes. Keep your undershirts on though. Um, poor quality era. Ah, oh, but this is a good one because... An arrow for an arrow. Okay. Cool. Sleep. 
Oof. Uh, how long will I sleep? Let's give it a solid... Uh, Uh, we want at least some energy, so let's go with... It was a long day. Uh, oh, so most perks have a trade-off of some kind. It's just what you're willing to live with. Uh-huh. Uh, how long do you want to sleep? He's had a long day. I think 10 hours is a... is... good. Is fine. Boom. Oh, I only get an hour, I guess. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? My lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you... could do with a little wine. I could do with a little sleep, lady. It's just what you need to help you sleep. I suppose. My lady... Um, thank you. You really shouldn't... You could have sent a sermon. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now... Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. Eh, get it off your chest, man. You might be right, man. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. I don't Father know why I'm looking at the guy's shoulder, us. but okay. Uh, oh gosh, I have. Oh no. Um. A fellow by the name of Kuna showed money to Father and uh, sent me to collect it from him. Only Kuna had no intention. Do you need to, to sit that close to her? It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kuna still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised Father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Uh, da -da -da -da. Uh, talk about life, so I'm sort of fighting. Um, this sword one. Was I have better Radzik things for it. To have a look at it praised father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da. So smart, there's a horde, huge of attackers. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind, the armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. And then death descended on Skalitz. Uh, oh. 
Father told me to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund. I like that was, angle for a minute and then suddenly on, salt shoulder. Saw <laughs> the bugs. <laughs> cut down my father without a thought. And then he turned on my mother. And murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of Cuban savages who planned to violate her. I had Sir Radzik's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. I wanted there to be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. Like a valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. Terrible. How could something like that happen? God alone knows why he lets such things happen. You poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. not been merciful to me and my husband either also in comparison to the horrors you went through I was young when I married my husband it was my father's wish Divish was a lot older than I but a woman must bear her lot shortly after our marriage before I even got a look at Talmberg the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Previslovitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king, and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. <laughs> but at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. My lady, you're still young. Beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. 
But it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Say that. Help us, son. Don't be coming. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is it? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skellis. back on first. <laughs> uh, we won't use the save your snaps. Uh, but I think it did go ahead and save already. So, I think we'll go ahead and leave it off there for now. I'm getting a little hungry and I kind of want to fix me something to eat. So I'm going to do that. But this has been fun, and I can't wait to keep playing this. More than likely, I'll be playing this again on Saturday. So, heck yeah, Saturday morning for me. Um, and Wednesday, I will be starting Bioshock 2, so also look forward to that. Yes. Friday, up in the air, don't know what I'll do. We'll see. Might be something, might be nothing. Keep watching, stay tuned. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'm liking this so far. This is fun. Um, is there a map? I want to see the map. How big is the world? The ooh. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Um, but yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and leave it at that for today. So, again, thank you all for watching. Have a good one.